Hi there, catchy little tune there, wasn't it? Okay, this is uh, the Monday, June 29th report, uh, the Master Pattern Report. Dr. Bob Flower, your uh, host and moderator. Okay, so let's see uh, how we uh, how we ventured last week. Uh, everything was on target for last week. Um, uh, the markets and metals, oil, uh, interest rates, and uh, currencies uh, were all actually um, uh, pretty much on target. Uh, very much on target, uh, and, and and they're still pretty settled. Um, settled. The uh, S and P uh, seems to be bot bottoming. We thought that this last week would be kind of a bottom and uh, start up from there, and and it, it looks that way uh, to us. Um, and we think it's it's set it's setting itself up uh, at this point in time. Uh, this week, uh, we anticipate a, a, an upward move, uh, although July could see another breakdown uh, in the S&P and uh, a low uh, in, in the metals. We're, we're, we're looking at a low in the metals of sometime around mid-July, um, so uh, be prepared. Um, uh, that we, we recognized last week they did bounce uh, back uh, from around that mid thirteen dollar level to up around fourteen, but we think it, we think that they're going to drop down again, and um, the, the scenario is as far as we're concerned, uh, anything between thirteen and fourteen dollars from the middle around the middle of July, we're co we're committing about a third of our um, investment funds that we have allocated four metals at that time. If it drops between uh, under thirteen dollars, we're going to commit uh, fifty to sixty-six percent of, of uh, the money we have set aside for um, uh, for the um, for the metals, and um, and then the balance as we uh, as it starts to uh, to escalate. Uh, and again, we think that the market may may take a, a, a little bit of a hit, not a little bit, a hit in July, the S&P market, um, before recovering uh, and, and, and a significant bounce uh, into uh, into August uh, and uh, late summer. Uh, okay, we have, um, well, let's talk about um, interest rates and uh, monetization uh, of funds, monetizing uh, the debt. Which is a fancy way for saying um, printing money, paying paying for the bills by virtue of uh, uh, printing money. Um, I, here's the problem that we're in: um, if if the Fed uh, continues, if the government continues to print more money, um, we we um, uh, uh, rates will. Rates will rise, all right, because people will be afraid of, of, of uh, inflation. However, if we don't, and we just put uh, our our bonds out there, which is what we're doing right now, and um, uh, people don't buy them, and the and and we then are finding ourselves where we have to charge a little bit more. We have to offer more in rates so that people will be interested, international investors will be interested in, in, uh, in these units, in, in, in buying, uh, buying our debt. So it, it, there's this, you know, this balance act that's going on, uh, let's print a little bit, but not too much, uh, let's raise interest rates, but not too much, uh, let's cut interest rates, but not too much, um, uh, let, let's cut the monetization, but not too much. And it, we're, we're kind of in this balance period here, which um, <laughs> uh, usually occurs before the bottom falls out. Right? You, know, um, I, you know, it doesn't, we'll see how the next two to three weeks plays out in so far as these bond offerings and treasury offerings go. Uh, and that's going to give us a very strong indication of, uh, of, of where we're heading. Um, and, and the problem that we have is, you know, it, that 
uh, of the dollar falling very strongly if 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 they don't um, if if the if the rates don't rise and uh, the people don't buy the international community doesn't buy these bonds the the dollar will take us uh, you know take a swan dive. Uh, and, and then, uh, which I think will eventually happen. Will it happen in July? Uh, the threat of it may happen, but I don't think I don't think we're going to see any of this stuff really occur until uh, next year sometime. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the cap and trade and and the environmental issues. But before we do that, I just want to talk about what's going on with 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 the president and the administration. Uh, you know, I, I think this guy is, is, is well-intentioned, he's a very smart guy, but I think he's making one big mistake, and I think that is he's trying to push through too many big, big things uh, at, at one time. And boy, if you, want a, uh, if, if you want a formula for failure, that's it. I mean, I don't care how good any of these issues are or how important they are, uh, man, I'll tell you, the thing that made uh, Ronald Reagan uh, successful was not his brains. I mean, you know, how could you say a guy who was the first thing in the morning he did was read the funnies was was an intellectual? But but the guy was good. I mean, he you know he he had a common sense approach to things, and he no matter how important things were, he took them one at a time. He you know he didn't take on two or three or four things like like we're looking at right now. I mean, that's not good. That, that's that's going to cause a great deal of problems because then the emphasis is on you know his personality, his his uh, caricature, you know his, his character and whatnot, charisma, uh, not good. Uh, and and uh, and with that, we talked about healthcare last week. Let's just take a minute and talk about uh, cap and trade. And I want to tell you, I've spent a lot of time, in it, and I've had at least one member uh, of our organization look at cap and trade, do a lot of research on this. And let me tell you what the bottom line is relative to to the environment and this hot weather and cold weather and everything else. There's such a thing called the law of uh, the second law of thermodynamics. Scientific law, and the second law of thermodynamics says that the universe, including Earth, we're part of the universe, uh, is moving towards dissipation. We're breaking up, right? And the you know which causes issues like this. And the second part of that is that there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. So. Uh, if it is true, uh, relative to uh, you know glo global change, it's not happening because of carbon emissions. And in fact, I'm sorry, but there's a lot of very strong scientific evidence that says that it's bull, and that there's other political and taxation issues that are at work here. <laughs> Excuse me, and making making. Uh, certain groups of people rich. I want you to think about this. Hey, listen, go to our blog, <coughs> go to our website, uh, get involved in some questions here and see how we can stop um, all this, you know, criminal stuff that's going on and misrepresentation and let's, let's work on getting our republic back and we're going to talk more about business. Next week I'm going to be in Alaska so uh, I will try and do a report, though, for you. And I want to talk to you about making some money, a good or bad economy. Thanks. Guys, have a great holiday.